Peace be with you. Thank you for joining with us today. This is Psalm 38. I said I will be watchful of my ways, for fear I should sin with my tongue. I will put a curb on my lips when the wicked stand before me. I was mute, silent and still. Their prosperity stirred my grief. My heart was burning within me. At the thought of it, the fire blazed up and my tongue burst into speech. O Lord, you have shown me my end. How short is the length of my days. Now I know how fleeting is my life. Attentiveness to what is there enlargens what is. Everything taking on a new significance, deepening our sense of wonder. How short is the length of my days. Now I know how fleeting is my life. The reflection in mid-December, we celebrate the life of St. John of the Cross, even though he died over 430 years ago. He was a man who suffered much in his life, not only for the reform of the monastic life of the day, but he was trying to rescue a profound spirituality from one of banality. His poetry and his writings are meditated upon and studied continuously to this day. We leave his reflection to the end of our own reflection this morning, but it's worth pointing out that he said the church dogmas live at first in the heart of believers. And we know we often say that the heart has reasons that the mind knows nothing about. So we often say that the heart has its own reasons, which the intellect doesn't know. But we can also say the heart has its own dogmas, which theological reasoning doesn't know. To conclude, so God henceforth will be human, and human beings will be caught up in God. He will stay with them always, the same forever alongside them. And that reality is what we're preparing for in this second week of Advent. Let us pray. O God of compassion, you come to be with us in our humanity. Enable us to move beyond the stagnant places of our lives, to embrace your life-giving presence anew on this Christmas morn. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. <laughs>